hello viewers uh, welcome to my channel and uh, today's topic is uh, salivary gland problems uh, but before starting i would like to request you to like subscribe and share these videos to support this channel and uh, if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition uh, you can visit our website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com you know and uh, alternatively you can uh, click the link in the description uh, just below this video you know so it will take you to the a new page of that website you know. now i come to the topic uh, salivary glands uh, disorders you know before that we need to understand what are the salivary glands and uh, what's their function you know? You know, the salivary glands, uh, they produce uh, saliva, you know, and uh, which keeps your mouth uh, like moist and it helps to protect your teeth and uh, uh, from rapid decay, you know, and it helps you to digest the food as well and to make it easy to swallow, you know, and the salivary glands, uh, are relatively small and, uh, and they are around the inner linings of the mouth you know uh, lips and uh, cheeks and a number of uh, diseases can affect your salivary glands and uh, they range from uh, uh, cancerous tumors to uh, Jorgen's syndrome you know and while some go away with the time or the, with the antibiotics you know and others require more serious treatments, including surgery, you know. Now the next thing is, what are the causes of the salivary gland disorders? Well, as you know that there are three pairs of the salivary glands, you know. Uh, they are called uh, uh, parotid, submandibular and sublingual uh, salivary glands, you know. And uh, they are responsible for producing saliva, as I said earlier, you know. And the most common cause of a salivary gland problem is blocked salivary glands, you know, uh, the ducts, you know, and uh, which can cause like painful symptoms. And uh, uh, the two main disorders, like uh, uh, serolithiasis and uh, uh, cell den dentus, you know, uh, these are the two main problems that can uh, uh, occur in a salivary gland, you know. And uh, cellulitis uh, uh, occurs when the stones made of the calcium, uh, they form in the salivary glands, you know. And these stones can block the uh, glands and the ducts, you know, uh, which can uh, uh, like uh, partially or completely stop the flow of saliva, you know. And the other condition which is known as uh, uh, cellulitis, you know, so is uh, an infection which involves the salivary glands. And uh, it often results from the stones blocking the gland, you know. And uh, the staph or the staph bacteria can cause this infection. And uh, uh, the older adults and the infants uh, are most likely to develop this kind of uh, uh, gland infection, you know, salivary gland, gland infection, you know. Now, uh, the other one is uh, like uh, uh, Jogan syndrome, you know. Is there other common disorder? And it occurs when uh, white blood cells target the healthy cells uh, in the moisture producing glands, you know, uh, such as slavery, sweat and the oil glands. And uh, this condition most uh, commonly affects women with autoimmune disorders like uh, uh, such as lupus, you know, or AIDS, etc. You know. Now the viruses uh, can also affect the salivary glands and these include like flu viruses or mumps or uh, echovirus or uh, cystomegalovirus you know or uh, uh, coxsack virus you know so these are the main, uh, viruses which can uh, affect the salivary glands and the cancerous and the non-cancerous tumors may also develop in the salivary glands as well and uh, uh, you know the cancerous tumors uh, they're rare and uh, the benign uh, adenomas can 
also grow in the submandibular gland, you know, uh, and the minor slavic glands, uh, but it's rare too, you know. The next thing is, what are the symptoms of these disorders? Uh, the symptoms may include like uh, a painful lump uh, under the tongue, you know, or maybe pain that increases when eating or swallowing, you know. And uh, these are the symptoms of uh, cellulitis, you know. And in case of uh, uh, cell dent dentists, you know, so the symptoms may include like a lump in your cheek uh, or under your chin, you know, and pus that drains into the mouth. Uh, stronger the false smelling of pus in the mouth and uh, fever, which is a sign of infection, you know, and pain. And uh, there are cysts that grow in your salivary glands and they can cause like uh, yellow mucus or uh, difficulty in eating or uh, speaking or swallowing, you know. Uh, and uh, in case of the viral infections, uh, the symptoms can be like dry mouth, dry eyes, or joint pain or swelling, you know, dry cough, um, unexplained fatigue uh, or uh, swollen salivary glands, you know, and uh, uh, like uh, sores. Uh, in the mouth, you know. So these are the symptoms, you know. And uh, in, if uh, uh, you have uh, diabetes or uh, 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 alcoholism, you know, excessive use of alcohol, you know, uh, you may have a swelling in the salivary glands too, you know. So this is another uh, problem, you know, or uh, disorder, you know. And uh, if you notice the swelling, uh, like the symptoms like uh, uh, bad taste in your mouth or uh, dry mouth or the dry eyes or facial swelling or the trouble opening the mouth, you know, uh, you should consult your doctor uh, straight away, you know, for further evaluation. Uh, you know, your doctor will recommend the testing based on his findings yeah, uh, during the medical history and the physical examination, you know. And some cases are quite obvious from the history and the physical exam, you know, like uh, such cases uh, uh, like diagnostic tests may not be necessary, you know. Uh, but if needed, the doctor will advise the imaging tests like CT scan and X-rays, you know, uh, to see if there's any blockage or any stones uh, in the glands, you know. And if your doctor needs to, uh, to finally target the salivary glands, and uh, I will advise the MRI or CT scan, you know, and uh, uh, for the in-depth uh, images, you know. And uh, uh, also biopsy sometimes may be needed to see if there's any lump or if there's any lump, you know, is it cancerous or it's not cancerous, you know. And if it's cancerous, then the biopsy can help you uh, to choose the right treatment option, you know. So biopsy is important sometimes, you know. Now once uh, diagnosed then the treatment option, uh, it depends on the cause, you know. And, uh, uh, on the disease type as well and for example if you have a mass in your salivary gland your doctor may recommend surgery to remove that mass you know uh, or the gland itself you know so uh, if the mass is cancerous then uh, uh, surgery along with the surgery maybe the radiation therapy may be needed you know and uh, the treatments won't typically start until your body has uh, had time to heal you know and this is typically four to six weeks after the surgery, you know. And the radiation treatments uh, uh, to the cheek, uh, to the neck, uh, can cause dry mouth, uh, uh, which can be uncomfortable and annoying, you know, and it can, it can affect the digestive system, you know. So your doctor may recommend drinking plenty of fluids, you know, uh, and avoiding the foods uh, which are high in sodium, you know, and calcium, you know. And uh, if the salivary gland mass is not cancerous, then the radiation may not be required and simply surgery will work, you know. And if it's uh, due to a, a, a infection, then the antibiotics uh, will be prescribed, you know. And uh, taking good care of your mouth, teeth uh, uh, is vital to the successful salivary gland treatment, you know. And brushing and flossing your teeth uh, at least twice a day can help you to prevent the salivary gland problems, you know, disorders and decay, you know, tooth decay, you know. So you can keep your mouth moist by rinsing with a mixture of uh, uh, like half teaspoon of salt in a cup of water, you know, so uh, this way uh, you can uh, improve the oral health, you know. 
Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit our website, which is www.diseasesintreatment.com. And please do not forget to subscribe this channel for more information every day. Goodbye.